and also to increase the value of the scrap. In order to remove the tubes, firstly the tube plugs were removed, then the inlet end inserts. On the inlet end, the internal bore tubes were cut behind the inner tube sheet and the tube stud ends were removed. At the outlet end, the tubes were then pre-released before they were fully removed using a retube coat traveller. This is the state-of-the-art tube removal equipment which is capable of pulling and flattening tubes at up to 240 feet per minute, which means that a 70-foot long Drax condenser tube could be removed in less than 30 seconds using a minimum labour input. TEI is proud to have the exclusive licence for the use of this retube co equipment throughout Europe and South Africa. The flattened tubes were then walked to a specially designed retube co chopping machine which automatically cuts them into pieces approximately 6 inches long and collects them in bins at the workplace. These bins were then transported by forklift truck to tipper trucks located outside the turbine hall. This metal was then taken off-site for sale as a highly desirable scrap metal byproduct. This process minimizes the use of the turbine hull crane, which is always in heavy demand during an outage. It also frees up floor space in the turbine.